this. I'll probably uh, do the next mix or two and then come back and just take a really good look and see where I think water's gonna settle here. You know, snow melt, direct rain. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to have one right here, somewhere right here so we have some drainage. And then obviously along this, this whole way here, I'll probably do maybe three long waves. I'll make sure I have at least three over here. These downspouts um, should extend over the top and that's something that they have to extend uh, and make sure the water from the roof itself is going outside the curb. Um, again, we're in North Dakota. There's basements on every house. If you look at every house here, these are all basements. So if you have water that's sitting here, it's not allowed to escape or they don't leave their downspouts down. All that water is running in here. It will not escape fast enough before it starts heading down into the basement. Then you got problems and it, it's your fault. It's just flat out what it is. It's nobody else's fault but yours. The mix is a little bit soft. So to adjust the machine a little bit. When you get a soft mix, she wants to lift on you just a little bit. So if you lower it a little bit, it kind of rides on the ground a little bit better. Now we don't we don't say anything about dry or wet. Okay, it's basically soft or it's a little bit hard. It all depends on the water content in there. He's not he's not putting hardly any water in there anyway compared to normal. Um, probably a gallon. And so if you get an extra one or two seconds of squirt in there from the hose, you could get a little bit too you know too much past the point. I'm going to do one more uh, mix here and then I'm going to go ahead and take a look at my drainage. That one's a little soft too. Okay. Which is not a big deal, but sometimes it's hard to get it to pull a little bit. Uh, you can see I got a couple little bumps there. Not a big deal. It'd be easy to trowel, but... things where I, you don't want to get fussy but the easier you can make it for the for the person that's finishing you know the better it is for everybody that curb right there is pretty smooth I'm not sure if you can be able to see it you know we got a few uh, you know curb snots as we call it a couple of little uh, spots that are open and when you go over this with a finishing trowel, tightens everything up, closes everything, and it gets super smooth. It looks better. And also, if you're sealing this, which we won't, it's great curb, but if you're sealing this, it doesn't take as much seal. It's not as porous, it's not going to soak in because this is really tight surface. I'll cut these joints. I'm going to go ahead and do some adjusting here. i got a couple of uh, little spots I want to fix. I can see right here that this is a little flat. Take a trowel and you can just kind of smooth it out. So you can round that off a little bit. tell by the way that moves you know that the mix is nice and soft this is a mason sand we're using the correct chemicals again like I talk about all the time comes out of the machine standing up it's perfect it's nice and soft now I can tell right now I'm gonna have to have a drain right here and up there um, downspout direct drain and so we'll get that taken care of Now, if you look right here, to me it looks like there's a little bump just on the back side. Visually, the back side of the curb is what catches your eye. Okay, so if, if you got a little bump like that, you can fix it by just smoothing out the back side and not having to move the curb at all. There's a little guy right here. If I do this just right, the curb's soft enough, I can fix that just by manipulating the back. Now it's a little bit smoother. Now those are the things that really, you know, kind of get me as I'm driving by properties. Um, you know, you look at the lines. So for me, and, and, and on that last mix too, you know, he had probably about two seconds less of water in there. 
and uh, it wasn't dry it was just perfect and the machine just jumps as it pumps it out it just and uh, it's super easy to, to trial and and, uh, and I can tell I'm gonna have to have another drain right there I'm gonna point out something real quick here you know your cracks your cracks will tell you what what the machine is is doing these little guys right here that is you know that's nothing when you trial that that's gonna be you know perfect if they're straight up and down like this okay that's just you know a normal you know a normal go with this but if you start getting angled like triangle cracks is what I call them like right here okay that means and this is an outside curve you know very slight but it's an outside curve on a triangle crack like this typically it's because you're too low on the outside now here you can see I got a little bit coming out which is totally fine there's hardly any slag here but I know I'm off the ground just a little bit when I got to this point right here I wasn't paying attention and I started dragging now when I'm dragging right here it's going slower here okay so it's tending to push out on top and there's your triangle so if you see a triangle like that like that you know that you need to go up at least a couple a couple uh, you know rotations on the outside of your curb machine okay so that's just gonna tell you yeah hey, like I say all the time your machine is gonna tell you what uh, you need to do um, as far as that now, I just did those lines right there I'm not really happy with the way that kind of turned out we'll see at the end here but I made the second one a little longer than the first and I'm trying to compensate so it's just one of those things that we, as we go okay we got a big inside curve right here Body's going to be on the outside of the curve. See where you're going, see where you've been. Okay, if you notice on that one, um, that one's a little softer than the previous one. So what's going to happen is that machine's going to start to bounce. Okay, so the previous one, I was nice and low. Everything flowed really nice. And then as you start putting that softer mix in, machine starts to bounce on you a little bit so it starts to lift up you can see I got a little bit more slag right here so you can feel that right away because it doesn't it, it's not punching it out it's kind of just going soft and you can feel the front of it bounce a little bit so if you actually lower the machine two or three on each side and get the machine down you can see where I'm down right there then it'll actually you know kind of flow I need to make sure you know when I trowel I'll be able to feel where the wet mix started you know where the dry mix ended and I want to make sure I put a joint right there. Now this isn't wet and dry and it's not that bad, but um, as far as the guy that's running the machine, if that's the same person that's actually finishing, you'll be able to tell where that where that mix started and where you want to put that joint. Because a lot of times if you don't put it in the right spot, you're gonna have a crack within an inch of a joint. And you know, that's one of the things that bothers the hell out of you. Sometimes you'll be able to hear it in your trial too. It's a little softer like that. It's not as loud, it's not as rough. Okay, and I can tell, it's probably gonna be hard to see in the video. I can tell right here that that's softer. You can even tell a little drier, a little softer, any joint there. So, pretty easy to figure out once you do it for a while. Now, as you get back from the street, around the sidewalk, uh, those curves, you know, they flow real nice. Um, you know, anybody that's walking here or driving by is, you know, it's gonna look really good. Now, as a curbing guy, and those of you that are watching, most of you are curbing guys or ladies. As you look down this line, okay, and if I drove by and looked at this line, okay, to me the second second wave really doesn't match the first and the third. Okay, now I might be nitpicking, but you know when you run a machine long enough, it just that's one of the things that really bother you. Can't really do anything about it now. You know if I wanted to move something or whatever, but if you go back just a little ways and look at it from this angle, you know it looks good. So it's, it's one of those things where you have to kind of, you know, I wouldn't be anal, but you know, meticulous in how you run the machine because that's what people see right away. You can see where I got a, a drain there and one over there. And I just put one there. I'm going to get around this corner a little bit farther before I put my next one. I'll probably put a couple on this corner, you know, just for safety's sake. But now what I'm going to do here is I have to stop at this stairs because we're on dirt. I'm going to go right by that and I'll go ahead and just move the curb over so I don't have to do a lot of hand -hand.
One thing you gotta look at too is, as far as when they paint lines, sometimes lines, you know, they do these tight curves, and especially the outside curves, look good on paper, look good when they're drawn, until you're the one that's mowing it. And, uh, you know, you're swearing half the time that you're mowing because you gotta do so much trimming because you can't fit the mower in those really tight curves. So soften those curves to make it easier to mow and really point that out to them and, and leave it on them. But the, uh, you know, as far as running the machine, I'm thinking about myself more than them because it's easier to run the machine doing a softer curve than it is doing a really tight outside curve. You know, that's mainly the, um, the hardest place you're gonna have to mow is an outside curve. So like right here, you know, I softened these up pretty well. I just let them know, hey, it's just gonna be easier for you to mow. It looks better anyway. Good example of where your pinch point is on an outside curve. Okay, pinching on the bottom, you got really good compaction. And where you need to make sure you have, you know, extra compaction is on the back side. Okay, you know, one thing about doing curves and waves too, you know, if they have a tight curve, you know, don't make it sound like you can't do that. Uh, don't, you know, don't say, hey, you know, I can't do that because it makes it sound like you're inexperienced and don't know what you're doing. You let them know that, hey, there's certain limitations to where a machine like this can go and how a machine can be handled. Um, you know, just throw it at them and say, hey, you know, imagine taking a 200 pound machine down this hill sideways, you know, and so on. Um, there's just certain limitations to it. Don't, don't put it, you know, don't word it like you're, uh, that you don't know what you're doing uh, because then they might second guess. You. I'm not entirely sure if you can see this, the lines, but I adjusted that line to where I wanted it. That line is a good six inches inside. The way he had it painted, it had a nice curve and then it got flat right here. So I brought it back out to match that curve to make it flow, okay, and then come through here. Now we got one nice long wave here that looks really good. And then all of a sudden he's got a little squiggle painted here. Well, I'm not gonna do that little squiggle because that doesn't match anything over here and it doesn't flow at all. You know, I'm just a little guy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this probably a good six inches outside this line. And I'm gonna come back in and make this, make this whole thing flow. So this is gonna be one curve into the next one curve and then back out over there, one curve into the end. And the whole thing should flow the way it, in my opinion, the way it should flow. Okay, and these guys when they paint their lines, they know exactly, you know, what I'm doing. They just paint a line so we can get the correct distance. Some of them are just a mess. Uh, and they just basically tell me, hey, do what you do. You know how to make it look good. Um, you know, we trust you. But you can see how that flows real nice. It's going to flow right into the next one and right into the last one. And no, no little squiggles in the middle.